We have uh, now established an uh, LMR platform here in Norway. Our main research area will be uh, protein uh, LMR, it will be carbohydrate LMR, and we are also doing uh, quite a bit in mesovolomics. In Norway we have a lot of uh, uh, forests, a lot of trees, and this is um, a very important source of uh, biomass, and uh, it's of interest to extract it. In biorefineries this is usually a quite an inefficient process because uh, it has traditionally relied on, on hydrolysis using water. However, this uh, the enzymes which were discovered uh, just a few years ago uh, here in, in Norway, in, in Oz, they uh, can degrade this cellulose matter through a new novel uh, mechanism. So uh, here uh, we are we're using NMR, we are the only group in the world using NMR to study these enzymes and we can do that here with, with this equipment. The new uh, instrument will really be a cornerstone uh, for the research activities that we have in biotechnology, in chemistry and also within material science. So it will be a tool for the future, uh, very important for us both for the researchers but also for uh, our education because we also allow master students to do experiments. I think that with this uh, collaboration uh, we can actually develop uh, uh, the use of NMR as a tool nationally and it will be a resource for the entire country uh, both for academic institutions, for the institute sector and of course also for industry. We heard about natural products for example and structure elucidation and um, well uh, we also heard about food materials that should be investigated and um, well, also personally I've contributed on the metabolomics uh, aspect of uh, food and clinical uh, samples or clinical research and uh, I think it's always nice to see uh, how many different applications we have for NMR. We will definitely be aiming for collaborative work uh, using the equipment established in, in this lab. I think it's going to be um, interesting for us to see how uh, we can further um, develop our metabolomics approaches going to higher fields. There hasn't been any large investment in NMR equipment the last uh, 20 years in Norway. The biggest benefit is for structural biology. At the moment we are limited to quite small study of quite small proteins, but with this new equipment we can uh, increase the size of the proteins we study with NMR. This is an infrastructure for the research community in Norway. So all academic researchers will have access to this uh, infrastructure. In addition, the infrastructure will be open for industry users.